Hey Empower Electric people, this is Nehemiah Glavin and here we are with another install. We are doing a service upgrade, well not an upgrade, it's a service change out. This is a 100 amp meter and 100 amp panel and it's all damaged. We're going to change it out for them and here we go. Take it away me. We got a service change out. Here we go. Alright, so here we go. This is a look at the old one. You can see all the damage on that riser cable. It's got the cloth, so it's wicking in water all the way into the panel. It's dripping wet <clears throat> inside the basement when we opened up the panel, so we're replacing that. And here we are putting on the vinyl board so it looks nice. It sits flush on the wall. That's the new meter going on. It's a meter disconnect, 100 amp. Putting up our riser, which is the PVC, with those snapping clips. We love those. Pulling in the new cable. Making sure it's all level and plumb, of course. And that's our LB going into the basement. And we found out there was no grounds here, so we're going to use our ground slug there from uh, Racketeers and battle that thing in. So it's getting a few good hits on it before we start using the hammer drill. That thing is key on hitting that thing just a little bit to get started. Finishing it off, of course, as well. And uh, here we are. I'm just measuring to see, make sure we're over, you know, at least six feet for the next one. I want eight. And putting that baby in went in really nice on that side. It was like sand or something. Went nice and smooth. Using that ground slug again. And uh, yeah, here I am making up the meter. Nice and tidy. See a little offset there that keeps it so it's nice and. Uh, plum we use that offset so it's uh goes with works with the clips well here i am i'm just able to we're going at least six eight inches down for the connecting um grounding electrode uh cable between the two it's um easy to push it into this dirt i pushed it all the way down i mean it was very easy i didn't want to ruin the garden it had some live plants in there so i made a nice little slit and i was able to push it back down really easily so we didn't disturb it too much here we are tightening it down i'm hammering it into the ground because it's got to be at, at least uh, level with the ground or below and here we are burying it making sure it's all covered and there you can see it connected to the service disconnect and now we got a sufficient ground which i had none before and that's a finished look at the product right there and that's a before Yuck, and there's the after. Woo!